Okay, everybody, Joe Cole here. It's how to make a Venturi time. Watch out. Okay, so to go over the actual building of the Venturi, this is the one I've been using on my skimmer thus far. And now that I've remodeled my tank is the reason why we're venturing into this and to help everyone else figure out uh, how to build their own DIY skimmers. Now this one uses a method that I'm gonna show you. The only difference is, is when I was running it, I was using the smaller ID or wider ID pipe, not the Schedule 40 on the output and it seemed to work fine but we're trying to increase the functionality of the venturi and get the best result possible out of making our own so to start you'll need for the setup is a three quarter inch t with a half inch threaded uh, reducer on it built into the t it's three quarter by three quarter slip with a half inch thread um, input You'll need a three quarter inch coupling and you'll need a three quarter by half uh, reducing bushing with the internals being threaded to accept a half inch uh, bar by half inch MIP um, nylon fitting to create the jet. So to create this piece here, I take this reducing fitting Take the sticker off, of course, because you're going to ruin it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anyways, you can clean the rest of that up later. I use a PVC cutter to cut down the edges. Careful. Probably wear some safety glasses because, you know, you might get pieces will go flying like crazy. Make sure nobody's standing next to you. You don't want to injure them. And I just keep, you know trimming little pieces off until I get it really close to the edge of this um, bushing. So it'll slide all the way through the pipe. All right, so then next, I grab an orbital sander. You can do it by hand, it will take longer, but uh, um, I use a sander and I, once I get this all trimmed down, I basically just roll this back and forth Try not to scratch up the main body of the slip fitting um, as I do it. So you can do it on a little bit of an angle until you get it down right to the edge. So I don't know if you can see on this fitting, it's pretty smooth, you know, original right here. And then all this has been sanded down. Okay, so the next step will be to tighten this nylon fitting in to the fitting that you just made. So this is gonna slip inside of this T fitting, all right? That's the purpose of you have to take this off because you're using this in a reverse fashion. Normally it would be right in the end, you would screw in what you want, but we can't do that. So next, being very careful, I suggest you wear some leather gloves or something if you're not comfortable using a razor knife. And I wanna make sure you're safe so never cut towards you, okay? So cut away from you. And what we're doing is we're just taking, we're taking these little edges off that are sticking out past the PVC. Can you see them sticking out? Because if we don't shave these corners off, make sure you have a nice new razor blade. Be careful, and as long as your hands are in the path of this razor knife and it's away from you, you will not cut yourself. But once again, you know, leather gloves, cut proof gloves, something to protect your hands if you're not used to or comfortable with using a razor knife, and you know, want to protect yourself. So I tend to go 
a little bit more than I probably need. You probably really only need to take off just a little bit, but I like to round it out a little bit. Doesn't matter if you nick this a few times as you go. Try not to tear it up, but you'll be good. All right, moving on. Now, this fitting, see, slides right in there. Boom. Okay, so in the other video, I showed where you want to put this. Now, when I built this last Venturi, I played around with, I left it loose and it leaked a tiny bit, but I played with it so I can move it in and out. Let's see if I can get this into the camera. See the tip moving in and out? Now, other tutorials I've seen show the tip being cut right there. I actually had best results with it right in the middle of the opening. But we can also play with this while testing to see what works right. The only problem is, is this will not be glued in and you're gonna get some leaking. So the best thing to do to play with it is to go ahead and just glue this fitting the coupling on the end of it that because it's nice and tight there actually you might not even have to glue it so shove it in there should be nice and tight as long as you didn't sand down this part of the uh, fitting here and you left it still shiny now we can hook the hose to it coming from our test pump and we can slide it in and out while the water sucked to it to see if it produces better when it's like that all the way up to the edge right there or if it's halfway in once you figure that out exactly then you can glue this fitting into here where you mark it mark it with a pencil once you get it where you want and then you can glue it into the T take this off and glue this on the coupling all right so I've got this built Let's go on to testing. We'll get the pump hooked up and a hose hooked to it and see where we go. Now, once again, I am going to use just a small piece of this because it has a wider ID. I want to get the water here the best that I can. Then after that, we can change velocities and whatnot. So I'm going to put a small piece of this in here for testing purposes. All right, and it's really snug. so. Like I said, I'm testing this outside. I'm not too worried about any water getting in the house. Now, if this is a little loose because you've sanded it down, so you're playing with it, we can always go and wrap a little bit of Teflon on it. So as we push it in and out, we get the right suction through this hole because this is the only place you want to get the air coming through. And based on where this tip is at, it's going to create the vacuum. So. Having said that, I'm going to do that real quick and then we'll move on to testing with water. Yeah, so now that I've taught you all that, uh, totally changed the design. It's uh, a lot simpler and uses less parts and it's cheaper. And uh, this actually works better than the one I just showed you that you spent all that time watching. But uh, there's pros and cons, so I will uh, go over that later. Bye.